Hey there, and welcome back to another day out here in the Long Island Sound. It's summer, it's uh, last day in July, and I'm going pretty far. It's uh, probably the farthest I've gone out, but you know, I'm pretty prepared, so I think, and the wind is uh, really not bad. A little bit of northwest wind which is pushing me you know back towards the way I came from but it's gonna lay out even more now I got an early start I've been pedaling for probably 30 minutes or more and I probably got another 30 minutes to go yeah we're gonna be fishing probably anywhere between I would say 70 to 40 feet of water something like that I don't know I've never really tried this area but I've always wanted to. I like trying uh, new things. Even if this ends up being, I don't know, say two and a half hours of pedaling and one and one and a half hours of fishing. And even if I don't catch anything, I think it'll be worth it. I think it's always good to uh, go to new places, new areas. Even if you strike out, you can always learn from something, so. That's the goal today. Yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful day. Oh yeah, something hit it. I think it's a fluke. Not a very big fluke. Oh, that's porgy. Poor guy. Drifting at about 0 0.6, 0 0.5. A little slow. Surprise because we, the wind is pretty strong. All right, 72 feet. And with a one and a half ounce jig, it won't be easy to hold bottom. See this? Not the right sea creature. <laughs> Big sea robin. Reset the drift. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. A 
ain't good fish. Oh, please. Thank you for swimming in the net. <laughs> oh man, and he almost ripped off. Oh wow. Look at that. Look what's left. That's what's left. Pretty good fish. It's not as big as I, not as big as I thought it was. I mean, he gave me some serious head shakes. And I hope he keeps him in. I even keep. <laughs> he doesn't even keep. He's like 18 and a half. Nice fish though. All right, buddy. I reset. I'm gonna go right back over where I caught that guy. Got my net ready. Changed out my gulp. Took a pee. <laughs> I think I'm a little better prepared now. That was uh, that was a pretty funny uh way to catch an 18 and a half inch fluke i don't know why but that thing just felt so much heavier i guess in the deeper water and he was giving me some good head shakes fat fish fat fish but oh definitely over a patch or something right here right, i'm gonna move spots Five feet now it moves a little deeper to the, towards the bottom of the ledge and uh, still using the one and a half ounce black bucktail with five inch salmon red uh, grub just checked out the drift over this little piece Set. It's good though. I have a uh, wind with tide, more or less. So these drifts should be pretty good. First boat that I've seen out here so yet. Looks like they're gonna do a drift exactly what I just did a couple times. So that tells me that fluker is there. But that spot is probably too well known, too obvious. I'm 
that boulder I definitely have to try out. Yeah, I'm looking to get, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I'm trying to get over that piece right there. See what's, uh, see what's happening. I'm still kind of close to the ledge where I was fishing. This is off the ledge a little bit. Or I should say where the, where the ledge is much more gradual. As soon as I drop down, ah, it feels like a robin though. It would be nice if it was a sea bass. I'm going with robin. Be a sea bass. Yeah, that's a sea bass. It's gotta be a sea bass. Oh yeah. Just please stay pinned. Giant sea bass. Giant sea bass. Giant sea bass. Yeah. Oh man, he was right on that piece. Right on that piece. I mean, a monster for Western sound. Maybe not Montauk. Oh. Yeah, that's about an 18 incher. No more. Let's see if we can get a good measurement on him. Solid, solid 18, 18 and change. Bleed him out, put him in the cooler. In the meantime, I'm gonna go back up there and see if I can uh, get on another one. Came back to the same piece and it's a small piece so I, you know, I'm not actually expecting like a ton of sea bass to be on this piece and that could have been the one you know, the one and only sea bass but I just want to give it like two more passes just in case 
because that was that was awesome. That was just really awesome to catch that sea bass. Just like that, like with pinpoint pinpointing a spot and catching them like that is just really cool. Very rewarding. So yeah, so that'll that'll wrap it up. Try to get back in. Sun's coming up now, it's getting a little hot. That was a really nice little session. I mean I trekked a lot. I didn't fish a lot. I probably pedaled more than I fished, but did find a decent sized fluke, not a keeper, but fun little bite there. <laughs> and uh yeah, the sea bass was uh, the highlight though, because I had a feeling there would be a sea bass on some structure like that, but to see it actually play out the way I thought it could is pretty cool. So yeah, I was uh, real happy to uh, get a keeper sea bass. First uh, keeper sea bass from the kayak for the year, and that was probably my biggest one from the kayak. So all around worth it day to trek the extra mileage see what's out there and learn learn something in the process yeah you know it's getting tougher to find keeper sized fish in these areas so i mean unless you really like porgy porgy's around but if you want something different than porgy you gotta you gotta hunt so that's what we did all right Catch you on the next one. Thanks again.